and hi children so amazing to see so many children for our tale tribe storytelling session today jayanti aunty is going to share a story with all of us yes aunty come uh, jayanti aunty you are muted unmute yourself yes hello children shri vidya wanted wanted to tell something what is that shri vidya please tell fast na vandu devarathula or trophy vaanga anga or paattu panna adha na ipa paada kon later paanga okay okay now the story today's story is the table the donkey and the stick okay it's a magic story okay we all love magic no okay one day there was a woman with three sons tom bob and jack were the names okay tom was the youngest one then came the bob and the last came the oldest was the jack okay they were happily living in a village but their mother was very poor so these boys you know they had to go for work so they searched for their work now uh, tom first the tom went to his neighboring country neighboring village you can call it he went there and he started working he worked under a person a very kind person he used to make tables and also lot of things from the wood so he worked very hard and day from day and night he used to sit and work hard and he learned how to make tables chairs and so on lot of things he learned from that kind man at the end of the one year uh, the man said okay uh, he, uh, tom said i want to go and work outside so he said that uh, uh, the kind man gave him a table he said what do i do with this table this is a magic table okay what you have to say whenever you are hungry you just say to the table i am hungry what happens delicious food will appear on the table you can eat what how much ever you want so he was so happy tom was happy he said you are so kind okay thank you so much and he said bye to that old man and then he left he went from country to country and from city to city and then whenever he feels hungry what he will do he will keep the put the table either on a river side or under the tree or wherever he is going he will put the table and what will he say i am hungry what will happen delight what a wonderful food will appear on the table then he will start eating he was very happy okay and some months later he thought i want to see my mother okay so let me go and visit her so he started his journey back to his house on the last night of his journey he had to stay in a place so he searched here and there he saw a house it was a old man's house so he knocked at the door he said can i stay here two night only for one night the old man looked at him and he said okay but i don't have i can't provide you food for you okay i don't have food here but tom said no 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 i don't need food you can we can both of us we can have food i will give you food don't worry so what did he do he carried his uh, table on his back no so he put the table in front and what was the magic word he told i am hungry suddenly wonderful food appeared on his table and both tom and the old man eat nicely and this old man no he is not such a good man 
this little way jealous man okay he thought oh if i have this table no i can take lot of food from it and i can sell the food also i can make lot of money and then i never have to be hungry at all so he is thinking when tom went to his bed no what did he do he took the table from his room and he started that whole night he started making a new table just like that magic table he didn't even sleep so by early morning he made a table just like that magic table and what did he do he put nicely this table near tom's bed and he came out he hit the magic table so the next day morning tom woke up and when he saw the table was there he didn't know that it is it's not the magic table so he took his new table and put it on its back and he started his journey to his mother's place mother 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 he was so happy to go back to his house and the mother when she saw tom she was so happy oh you have come back my son how are you she was so happy and she asked oh, what were you doing all this time what work did you do all these years so tom said i worked with a very kind person who made who taught me to make a lot of tables and all and at the end of the year he gave me this table and showed that table mother looked at the table it's so dirty what can we do with this table then tom said no ma this is a magic table whenever we feel hungry when i say i am hungry then delicious food will appear we can have it mother did not believe first she said okay show me show me so tom said you call all your friends from the village then i can show them we can all eat from that table so the mother invited all her friends so everybody came home and in front of them what did he do he put the table the new table on its on the tear on its floor and then what did he see the magic word i am hungry did the food appear no nothing happened because it was not the magic table it was something new table which was made by the old man so nothing happened no food came so everybody all the friends no they started laughing hey what is this nothing is there in this thing food will come from the table ha huh? <laughs> everybody laughed so tom was very sad he became very unhappy he got hungry also what happened to my table and now he knew who has taken the old man has taken his table so he was so upset he again went from his house and then he went back to work to do the same job from the same person so he went away he was sad so but he wrote a letter to jack the eldest brother you remember he wrote a letter jack jack this is what happened he told all the story what all happened to the uh, to him and also the story about the magic table everything he wrote a letter to jack and how he lost it with the old man so he wrote a letter and started working with the same person now came the bob who is bob the second son now job was also working in a nearby village okay and he also worked and worked and at the end of the year that man is also a very friendly person so he gave him a donkey and he asked what is this donkey what am i supposed to do with the donkey and the donkey is very small and the 
kind person said don't sit on the donkey this is not for riding you should not sit on top of the donkey it is very small but it is a magic donkey <gasps> what is this magic donkey what it will do so the man said whenever you need money okay what you have to do take a box and put it under the donkey's mouth the gold will drop from its mouth what will drop gold coins will drop from its mouth then you can take them but what is the magic word you have to tell brickle bat brickle bat you have to say so he was so happy he thanked that man he said you are so kind thank you so much and he left he also worked for one more year he went from country to country from city to city worked and whenever wherever he went what will he do whenever he needed money what will he do he will take that box and take it to the donkey's mouth and what will he say brickle bat brickle bat you will you have to say so he used to get lot of gold coins and with the gold coins used to buy the costly beautiful dresses and used to eat lot of delicious food he will buy from that and he would stay in a beautiful place nice the best hotels and he enjoyed the life after few months he also thought i want to see my mother let me go and see my mother so he started his journey on the last day of his journey he came to the same old man's house remember and he knocked at the door can i stay here two night for one night the old man said okay you can stay but you have to pay for the food and also for the room because i don't have food for you and for room also you have to pay money do you have money now bob said yes yes don't worry about the money i will give you lot of money to you yes so he allowed the old man allowed bob to stay what did he do he took that magic ta table remember that tom's table was there no so he took the table and he told that old man told the magic word and delicious food were there so both bob and the old man ate nicely now after eating the old man asked money 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 please give me money so he started putting it in his coat and he thought okay some money will be there in his pocket but when he put his hand into the pocket there was no money and he said okay wait wait and then he went out who was there the donkey was there no all this time he was carrying the donkey also no so the donkey was waiting outside he took a box and he went near the donkey now this old man also no slowly followed him what is this man is going to do ah how is he going to get the money okay i can take when he is asleep i can take all his money he was thinking like that and he was hiding and looking what bob is doing bob went out and he took the box and put it under the donkey's mouth and what did he say what was the magic word brickle bat brickle bat he said and then gold coins fell from its mouth he took that gold coin and he came inside the old man's house now the old man no i told no he is not a good person he is a jealous person no he said eh hey, i wanted this donkey so that night when bob was sleeping in his room what did he do he slowly took 
the magic donkey and hid him behind a house and that night he went out he found another donkey and he replaced it okay so the next day bob woke up and he took his he said thank you old man and he took his new donkey and then started going to his mother's place where was he going to see his mother no he has to see his mother no so he went to his house so when he reached home the mother was very happy to see bob hey welcome 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 what were you doing all this years what work did you do now bob said i worked in a farm okay there was a very kind person after working there he gave me a donkey so the mother looked at the donkey what is this donkey and it's so small is it strong what can you do with the donkey but bob said no ma this is a magic donkey what will it do so the bob said whenever we need money i have to take this box and keep it under its mouth then gold will fall from its mouth okay with that gold we can buy anything we can use that as money and then we can buy lot of things so mother said show me now show me now but what did bob say you invite all your friends okay you call everybody then i can show them so all his friends came from that village that day and everybody were looking anxiously at the donkey's mouth so what happened when bob took his box and went near its mouth and what did he say brickleback brickleback did the coin come from its mouth no no because it is not a magic donkey it's a new donkey no so nothing came from its mouth so all the people started laughing <laughs> what is this is doing a magic huh, with this donkey and started laughing and made fun of him so bob felt very unhappy very sad and now he knew who has taken the magic donkey who has taken the old man has taken it no so now he can't go back and ask so he went back again from his house to work again now the third is that is the eldest son what was his name jack jack no he worked with a person who makes lot of things with wood okay a wood cutter so Not he like was work Uh, carpenter you can call this as a carpenter he also makes okay he cuts wood from the trees and makes lot of carpentry works so he was working jack was working under him after some time after one year he worked very hard so what did the person gave that man he gave a beautiful precious box and inside the box there was a stick now jack said i will take this precious box but i don't need the stick i will put something precious what i like i will put it inside that box but the man said no it is a magic stick what magic stick so the man said whenever somebody is unkind to you okay this stick will help you what what it will do so whenever somebody hurts you or unkind to you you have to tell the magic words go jump out of the box come out of the box you have to tell then the stick will jump out of the box and it will start hitting it will start hitting everywhere when you say only stop go inside the box only it will stop so he said okay let me take the box with the stick and he 
came to his house. He did not go out. He started going back to his house. He was so happy to see his mother. Mother was waiting. But on the last night, the day of his journey, he came to that old man house. Do you remember that old man? The jealous old man. He was there. He was waiting. Now Jack came and knocked the house. Tonight, can I stay here? The old man said, yes, you can stay. But you have to give me money for the food and also for the room. Okay. He said, no, no problem. I'll give you. Okay. But he started talking. He gave food from the Tom's table and they both ate nicely. And uh, Jack was telling all what all happened to him, how he worked with the uh, carpenter, everything he told. And he asked the old man, do you know the magic table? Okay. When I am hungry, if I say, say to the table, I am hungry, delicious food will appear. Do you know that? The old man just nodded his head. And then, do you know there is a magic doggy also? And if you say the magic word, brickle bat, brickle bat, then gold coins will fall from its mouth. Do you know that? The old man simply nodded his head. And now Jack was very, 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 he is so intelligent, he told. But more than these two things, I have a better one. This is the best one. This can do a lot of things in the world. So the old man was very curious. What is that? What is that? He said, that is inside my box. He had a precious box, no? He said, it is inside that box. And he went to the room and he started sleeping. He pretended to sleep. He did not sleep. He just closed his eyes because he knew that the old man will come and take that stick. So he was waiting. The old man came quietly without making noise. He started to touch that box to open. Suddenly, Jack he jumped out of the bed and he said, what did he say? Stick, come out of the box. Then what happened? The stick jumped out of the box and started hitting on his head, on the shoulder, on its back. Started hitting, hitting so fast. Ah, it started paining. The old man said, hey, stop, stop, stop. No, the stick did not stop. It was just hitting him on its whole body. It was, he was bleeding. Then the old man said, stop, stop, stop. If I have to stop, what do you have to do? You give me back the magic table and the magic talkie to me. They belong to my brothers. You give me back those two things, then I will tell the stick to stop it. Then the man, man cried, old man cried, okay, 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 please stop it. It's paining, the stick is still beating, beating. It started beating, it was beating now continuously. So the old man said, please make it stop. Now the jack said, go inside the box. So the stick stopped hitting and went inside the box. Now he collected all the magic table, the magic donkey, and also he had the stick. And then he took all these things and he came to his mother's house. And when he, when the mother saw, hey, Jack, you have come. How are you? What do you do all these years? He was telling, I worked under a carpenter and he gave me this stick. He showed the stick. What stick? We can get it from any tree. All, there are so many trees. Okay. We can get a lot of sticks from the trees. But Jack said, this is not an ordinary stick. It is a magic stick. When somebody is unkind to me, when I say 
go out then it will start hitting them only when i say stop go inside the box then only the stick will stop okay so the mother was okay okay very happy and he told see i brought this magic table i brought the magic donkey that old man she he told no everything that old man has taken it okay now i have brought it the magic table and the donkey using the stick only so it help me to get back those things so now you can write a letter call all the brothers other two brothers are there no tom and bob also came and all three of them were in the house and that day night the mother invited all the people from the village to come and have food so everybody came and with the magic table delicious what did he say i am hungry that was the magic word then delicious food appeared everybody ate the whole village ate the food and what did the with the donkey uh, tom um, bob said brickle bat the lot of gold coins came from its mouth and everybody to everyone the tom bob and jack gave a bag full of gold coins to them and they ate so nicely and they were very happy they thanked and they left now tom bob and jack lived happily with his mother this is the end of the story did you like so <laughs> nan mute sudiksha it was a uh, um, intelligent story we have to be a so uh, Mm, we have to be important we have to know what they are doing and uh, we have to know what how are they they are kind or unkind uh, that we have to know about them yes super yes thank you nisha where are you joining from uh i'm in chennai Okay, you are in Chennai. No, but your English is so, so different. Beautiful. Which school do you go? First, I am joined in Delhi Vidya Sam School. Delhi. Then now I am in Sri Nikhilan Patasala School. Okay, your English is like Westerners, yar. Yeah? American English, It's very nice. <laughs> school they teach or at home you speak like this? I learned by myself. Wow! Awesome, <laughs> yar. Yeah. And she has a brother. standing ovation. I stand and clap. <laughs> she has a brother. Brother also. Okay, nice. Anu parda Sri Hari. Do ka mask kalam puter gran. Hey, engada puchha mask ha? Oh, you are wearing the mask. I thought it is a virtual background. Che che che. Okay, nice, nice. Now children can talk about the story. After that, Sri Vidya is going to Sri Vidya and Sri Hari both went for the Devaram competition in Singapore. Both of them have won prizes. So Sri Vidya, wait, Sri Vidya, anything about the story you want to say, children? Jignesh, Sri Hari, Anusha. I think that uh, uh, in all of the three brothers, Chap was the most intelligent person. Okay. Like you should be aware of what will be happening. Super. Around you. So then nice. you, if you, if chat, if Tom and Bob would be have been aware, then they would have kept their table and donkey. Hmm. Interesting. What about uh, Sri Hari? What do you think? What's your comment about the story? Shri Hari, can I pet you, da? He's busy masking himself. 
no problem i have a question is it okay to get money free from a donkey or something brickle bat or something by saying that is it okay to earn money by magic don't we have to struggle hard to get the money no you do, uh, no we we should not get money from magic we should mm. get money by working hard because you deserve the money when you work hard and you don't deserve the money when you get it from magic okay that's awesome what do you think sudeeksha is it okay to take money from magic no ma'am okay mm. you can get money by working hard we will get uh, something uh, good or uh, we get uh, money also okay thank you super ma thank you sudeeksha what about shri hari you wanted to say something you said something what did you say is it okay to earn money through magic will it stay with us will stay with us unless we are good if you are bad it will go away okay if you are bad it will go away okay super interesting so nandita are you ready to tell a story now are you out of your fear are you <laughs> okay so we will hear one devaram song by shri vidya after that nandita can try innesh has also joined today lot of children have joined okay good all our children are back mm. nand uh, shri vidya can you tell shri vidya devaram song alaga pattu paavadalam pote ad alaga ang ukkandu mic munadi she was singing okay தீவினை கோர் மருந்தாவான்டியாடிக்கு அடிமை செய்த புள்ளிருக்கு வேலூரை படியார்ந்த பொழிற்காளி கவுனி என் சம்பந்தன் சொல் மடியாது சொல்லவல்லார்க்கு இல்லையாம் மறுபிறப்பே கடியார்ந்த பொழிற்காளி கவுனி என் சம்பந்தன் சொல் மடியாது சொல்லவல்லார்க்கு இல்லை யான் மறுபிறப்பே சூப்பர் சூப்பர் ஸ்ரீவேதியா Do you know the meaning for this song, Shri Vedya? Yeah. Okay. Next time, you just ask your mom, okay, what is the meaning? You're a very small child, still to grow to understand probably, but your mother will tell you how to make a meaning of that. Super. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready, Nandita? Or will you, are you ready? Or will you say next week? Okay. next mm. week you will say okay so next week sudeeksha is going to tell a story nandita will tell a story and there was jignesh so and jignesh will tell a story all right shri hari would you like to share a devaram song today or no inesh inesh ah inesh inesh will tell a story next time yeah i can't hear you inesh முன்னாடி ஒரு பிரதர் இருக்கானோ 
Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay, forgot. All my notebook is in India. Okay. Vian, show your face, Vian. <laughs> Vian Look at him. Okay, super. Cherry. Anusha is also, she has come in a frame. Anusha is also of... telling a story. Okay, children, oh. all of you prepare a story and come. Okay. Okay. Uh, Inesh just Inesh said, said, yeah. Already. Mm. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Yes, yes, okay. So you can prepare <laughs> a story and come dress well. If possible, dress according to the story. Is that okay? If you are one of your story characters, if you can dress and come, that will be even more nice. Is that okay? Just give a try. All are welcome. Okay, dress as per the story character. Any character you can choose and you can come and do a story. Is that okay? Shall we wind up? So thank you so much, Jainti auntie, for that magical thank story. Thank you, Sri Vidya, for that beautiful Devaram song. Thank you, Sudhiksha, for that awesome English. Mm? <laughs> I'm in Australia now. I'm visiting Australia. I'll try to learn. I'm not able to understand this English here. <laughs> so maybe I, you, you, I'll you take you to huh? Same thing for Anisha. Posh. Posh, no? Yeah. <laughs> you should learn that also. This I remember the Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, Melbourne. Australia, live over there. Yeah. Melbourne only she is staying. I'm yeah. staying in Melbourne only. Yeah. And then go to MasterChef Australia. What are you waiting for? Go to the... They have a very nice restaurant over there. Only they do the contest. Go to the restaurant. What are you waiting for? <laughs> okay. Which restaurant? <laughs> what should I do? Tell me. MasterChef. MasterChef. Master I like to eat, not to see, not to cook. But there is no, no competition. Mm. Mm. There are restaurants. Oh. Go to the restaurants. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. I'll ask uh, my daughter, okay? Then I'll try to visit. Yeah. Srihari, would you like to say something? <laughs> no. You're showing. Go home. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, children. Bye. Bye, Thank children. Bye. 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 Dressed up well for a story, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.